YouTube, what the crap's going on? Welcome back to the Iceni campaign, where the Volke recently handed Patchy's Band of Spears a massive oath-sworn fueled defeat at Berdigala, and apparently these guys are uh, fueled in a, yep, uh, well, it just says a level 3 ironsmith here, and if that's enough to train oath-sworn, then good grief. Those guys have got it going on. Um, just seems a bit ridiculous. But yeah, I don't, yeah, I mean, that's, wow, to be able to train oath-sworn from that. Doesn't seem like that's really how it goes, but hey, whatever. I don't know, because I haven't played one of those campaigns. And it looks like I've made a lot of my moves, and I'm getting close to ending a turn. Uh, let's make sure that there's no one I need to declare war on. It all looks clear. And let's just double check uh, this other vicinity up here where I'd been doing some fighting against the Bowie Eye. Yep, looks like I finished there. Yeah, looks like I've done just about everything I can do for this particular turn. Got a little money this time. Uh, now too, so might be able to put that to use. And it looks like we can issue an edict at Nemeto Senna. I have a ton of food right now. Uh, let's see, five growth per turn and five unit recruitment costs. Eh, it might be worthwhile because I'd be recruiting some units from up there. So definitely consider that. Tax rates. Let's go with migration. We'll try it out. I haven't used it before. Just make sure not bypassing the upgrades. Okay. Let's see what happens on this turn end, see if we get any action or if we just need to get ready. I really want to train some more chariots for taking down the oath sworn armies of the Volke. Um, I really think that they're going to come in handy. Uh, no, you can't have a peace treaty. And it seems like from time to time I get comments on these videos where people are like, Eh, what are you doing, you dunce? Why do you declare war on everybody? Uh, this is a total war campaign where I'm trying to earn the achievement called this holy German confederation. And I'm ambushed. Which means that this army is probably now dead. And I have no idea what I'm being ambushed by, but just gigantic armies. So let's watch these guys die a painful death. And I'm going to get pushed back at Tullifurdum. Good grief. So I guess the Germans confederated against me, which is great. And I probably have little, if any, chance of fighting off this ambush. Because <laughs> there is going to be a lot of enemy troops here. Yeah, so unless they've just brought nothing but spear levy, which I'm guessing isn't the case since I just came up against an army of Oathsworn, then I'm about to get my crap handed to me. They're going to be coming over the hill from somewhere else here. Where are they at? Enemy reinforcements approaching. Okay, so I'm actually going to cheat for a second. All right. <laughs> Sword masters? Oh, it's their general. Okay. I was like, what the? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, all right, what do we got? Germanic slingers everywhere out here, and of course I have really no cab in this army. And sweet, Spear Levy. Eric can handle Spear Levy. What he can't handle is probably the Sword Masters, and then this mercenary Germanic Scout Riders, that's going to also be a problem. Oh, what do we got? Mercenary Spear Brothers, and they're going to go straight for... Let's uh, defend... We're going to defend my Ballista. Ballista need to start taking immediate shots at the Swordmasters, probably. And then Slingers. Let's just click an attack order on the Germanic Slingers. And I'm going to need these sword units here. And these sword units to beat down these guys. And then my general is going to have to get free to where he can be of use as well. So let's hit play. Do whatever I can here. My morale, though, is going to be very low because of the uh, ambush scenario. I am going to actually slow it down just so I can play my very best here. That is kind of cheap, I know. But here's not really caring about being fair to the enemy AI right now. Slingers are all bunched up. That's not good. I'm still targeting the enemy general with my ballista, but what I could probably do actually is go into explosive round, get rid of some of those slingers. I'm just going to hit my own men. War cry the enemy general. It's actually not going too bad for me just yet. Quick 
your charge. Get rid of some of these Germanic Slingers. I need my general to get free from here quickly. Which he did. I can't believe we just routed those Swordmasters. Or we didn't route the Swordmasters. They're still alive. Everybody focus on them. Swordmasters just routed. Ooh, we might have a chance here, folks. We might have a chance. Yeah, air cheated a little bit with the pausing, but can't say I care. Okay, let's get my sword band away from all these enemy slingers. Man, we dealt these guys a painful and vicious loss here really quickly. Managed to save my artillery pieces too, which is fantastic. Let's get my uh, melee folks away from... Okay, I'm going to badly need these ballistas, so you all move to safety. General can now come back for these other slingers. My spears are doing just fine against their spear levy, so I'm just going to let them finish it. And let's get some second wind on my heroic riders. And now all those slingers are dead. Good. Wow, we actually fought our way out of that. Does my general have dread or something? That's the only thing I can imagine because the enemy morale dropped rather unexpectedly there. My general just racked up a phenomenal number of kills. Good. No, don't waste your ammo. I'm gonna need it. And let's just get ready for a hill advantage here. Start moving my guys this way. Wow, this was honestly not expected. Like. The reason I was cheating is because I expected to just get destroyed. But, then again, I don't really feel bad about it. <laughs> Take that, chumps. After getting smacked down by an oath-sworn uh, army from the Volcay, I'm feeling uh, alright about this because I really don't need any more losses. <laughs> so what do we got? Club levy. Lots of club levy. Germanic slingers. Oh, freak. Ballista. Well, I'm going to have to use my own ballista. Why... Why are you guys still here? Thank you. It's like, why are my men wavering against a single remaining spear unit? Um, I need my ballista to be able to handle the enemy ballista. I really don't want them to be able to hit my infantry. Are they about to fire? No, they're just sitting there. Okay, good. So, don't spend any ammo from my own ballista on the enemy infantry incoming. Oh, actually, yes we do. We gotta kill that noble rider. So I'm going to get my Ballista set, and we're going to kill the Noble Rider. And then we'll save what ammo I have left for the enemy Ballista, because I don't want to send my General after these Ballista. Perfect. Good job, man. This is fantastic. And I do have a huge morale detriment because of the uh, ambush battle. You can see the morale in all my men is quite a bit lower. I'm not sure where these troops think they're going. We're going to... Oh, not explosive shots, standard rounds. Gonna hit the enemy general here. Explosive shot's not near as good against cavalry. It'll do good against these un unarmored infantry, but we definitely want to smoke that cavalry with round shot. The enemy general oh my gosh, dead. the first hit killed the enemy general. Are you kidding me? This is like the luckiest battle I've ever had. What can this happen for Patchy's Band of Spears somehow? You know, like the enemy ballistas like shoot, throw an oath sworn or something. There we go. spend a little bit more ammo. I don't want to spend a ton more, but I really do need to get this unit to route. I can't afford to take losses to a, a unit of that caliber. Come on, route it. Route it. That'll do it. Alright, save your ammo. Alright, I've got plenty of ammo left to deal with the enemy ballista, and I'm going to very much keep my distance. Uh, I do not want to get in range of those guys. How far did my own ballista go? So I should still be well out of their range. And this ought to be the perfect spot to... Uh, completely surround these guys. Let's get my general up here. Spearman on this flank. I'm gonna let my slingers open fire on this big blob of enemy troops here. And they are bringing their own Germanic slingers out. 
figure we can deal with them. My uh, Britain slingers ought to be considerably better than the Germanic slingers. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. We want to move forward here. So we got my Britain slingers opening fire. I just want to hold this flank over here and do most of my attacking with my swords. And I'm getting kind of a blob of club levy after me over here. I'm gonna bring my general down here. Get my slinger fire redirected over here to these guys in the woods. Get a spear wall here. Sweet. So my swordsmen were actually really easily able to cut down the club levy. No big surprise because my guys have a lot more chevrons. Let's get in here. And let's hit these uh, club levy from the flank. All their guys are in wedge formation. I only have my general to try and run down enemy units. And my slingers, I guess, too. Is in our favor. Forward, Let's bring my slingers up. I'm going to try and run down as many of these guys. Oh, actually, they've still got their... Oh, gosh, I'm in range. Everybody out. Yeah, they've still got their stupid ballista out here. I'm going to have to move in my own ballista to try and deal with them. Everybody out of range. Good grief. How many volleys can they get off? I do think I'll use my general, though, to go run down some of these troops. Might as well. The general's already got 305 kills. Let's take everything that's not my ballista behind my ballista. Ooh, you know, actually, that stupid ballista is going to start shooting my general. Can't do that either. I want to run down those troops, but I just can't. Okay, let's get all three of my ballista attacking theirs. That means these spearmen are still in the line of fire. As well as the swordsmen. Okay. So my own ballista are going to be returning flammable round back onto these German ballistas. What kind of troops we got here? Nothing big. Might go after... I don't know, we'll just go after some of these units here that are completely undamaged. Okay, that German Ballista unit is wrecked. Don't spend any more ammo. Just attack those guys. Let's watch my general make sure they're not going to turn fire at him. If they do, I'm going to have to react quickly. Let's fast forward, let my general get some kills. Man, this is, a, um, this is an ambush that totally turned south for the Germanic Confederation. Hopefully a sign of how the war is going to go between us. But then again, I never know. Okay, all those guys are going to get away. I can still chase down these ones. Okay, I should be within flammable round range here. My guys are opening fire, so are theirs. Man, those ballistas saved my can here. Looks like I caught one of their units on fire right before they routed. So good in the battle. That was a total success there. Uh, massive turnaround for me. Extremely fortunate. I don't know how those sword masters didn't do better than they did. There's something weird going on there. I did get my general behind them pretty quickly with a nice rear charge, frenzied charge, and they were blobbed up. And I guess the stats on my sword band are pretty good attack wise. They're just not going to be as great with armor and health and all that stuff. They got away with most of their troops because I wasn't able to run them down, but at least we dealt them a defeat to get them out of the way. Let's hope that there's no more such ambushes on this turn. This is starting to get tricky, folks. Yeah, we got enemies on every front, and they're starting to pour out of the woodwork. And after having taken that loss to the um, Volke, that is definitely going to complicate matters. And I see another Volke army there, which I'm really having a hard time understanding how a faction with two settlements up until now, one settlement up until that point, is fielding quite so many armies. I keep trying to get this Volke agent to, to join my side here. To the there we go. So, at least we got an agent out of it. And we really need to get my spies down here and start poisoning the daylights out of the Volke. That is going to be my only focus at the moment. 
And this army is getting close to being able to, to reap some vengeance. I would really like to get chariots into this army. Because honestly, a bunch of fresh sword band is not really what I need. I should be able to get chariots actually just back across this border. So it'll put me back a little bit. Or no, I can't. Jeez. Ugh. Just come to Nemosos and let's calm that city down. It's not in very good shape at the moment. I think the chariots come from the building that I had at Bertigala, unfortunately. Got a decent little army here, too, and let's take it up to Bibract. So now we can kind of protect that flank. And this army can go out of forced march. And I need to recruit more units with this army. And in order to do that... Can I build the right stuff for the... I think I can build the right stuff to get chosen units now at this point. I think it's a level 3 blacksmith. Uh, let's find out. Building chain... Where's the dang Iceni? Building chain Iceni, and I believe it's this one. Let's go to it and see what we can build out of it. Iceni, sure enough. Chosen sword band and chosen spear band. So that is going to be our focus. It's going to take us a number of turns to get there, but that will be the focus. We could use some public order that we're going to have to offset from building this building, so I'm going to build a chieftain hold, and eventually a high enough one of those should give me access to heroic nobles. Whew, the Cambry have an army there too. Um, this is going to get nuts. I'd really like to keep their... keep them from being able to make a, a run back at me here at Bagakum and Nemetasena. I do have this army training, so should be able to defend against that. The problem is, at this point, it's just money. Uh, the Iceni, I just don't have near as much money as I do in my Parthian campaign. Okay. Make sure all these agents are good at coercion. We're going to need that. And also make sure that they're good with military training. Because we'll want that as well. Makes a big difference, especially when you have a bunch of cheap units like I do at the moment. Am um, I still in Force March? Dang it! I forgot to take him out of Force March when I put him back in the city. What a massive screw up. I am the Wild Rover. Uh, this veteran unit, though, I might be able to subvert these guys. Impedes the melee and ranged combat. And what's the chance of stop? 33% chance of stopping. Well, this one's got the best chance of stopping them, so I'm gonna do an assault patrol. Okay. And then, let's take, I don't have enough money to do that again, so that's going to have to be the end of that turn, unfortunately. Again, money is my biggest constraint here, and we're going to have to do something about it. But we just keep having to declare war on people. So, let's see. There we go. We're getting closer to be ready for revenge against the Volke. They're going to need a very sturdy poisoning, though, before they're nice and soft enough to be uh, run over by my men. And I need to get a veteran into those armies that are headed down there so that I can start training up their units. Gosh, I need money bad. At this point, though, the only way I'm going to get money is by uh, expanding, I offer this which is unfortunate. Now, like the German Confederation trying to offer me peace already, so I must have beaten them down pretty bad. Because if that was the best they had to offer, then they really need to try harder. The Volke asking for peace, which is weird because they have some strong armies. Not sure why they're concerned about peace with me. I don't have the money. Just allow the adoption. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. So now I have all these spies down here to uh, try and start softening up the Volke. So let's start some severe poisoning. Do some uh, poison provisions over here. Successful. Let's get this spy and poison the provisions of this army. Okay, good. So we're starting to take a toll on the Volke. Unfortunately, I may run into more factions by getting this close to the coast. Not really what I want. 
Oh, is that not? Oh, that's a druid. Oh well. Don't go that way because I don't want to meet any new factions. Actually, let's see if we can use this druid to like block the bridge. Because I know sometimes you can block enemies from being able to move across a bridge if you put an agent right in front of it. We'll see. Okay. What was I going to recruit? I'm going to go ahead and move this army up to this bridge. Nemosos is going to just be ticked. Not much I can do about it at the moment. But yeah, if I... If I control this bridge, if they do attack me, I can at least bottleneck them. And what I'm going to do is just bring even more slingers, since I have plenty of cav. I think chariots would be more ideal, but don't really have a lot of money for chariots at the moment. And unfortunately, none of these factions down here are ones that I'm massively concerned about. Um, let's not force march anymore. I can afford one more unit in this army as well. Let's go ahead and move up to this bridge. Perhaps we can take Massalia. That might be a money maker. Is there nothing else? See, I have enough cav, and I have chariots too, which is great. Might just take another sword band. And then this army up here is still training, but needs more swords. And we do have chariots there, so that army will be in good shape. This one, we can finally get them out of force march. And I have only a little money left, which we're going to need to use to continue to do some subversion. Really want to get rid of these levy freemen. Don't, they're not going to be very helpful. And really not a whole lot else I can do here other than get more swordsmen as well. Or uh, more slingers. I can't get levy freemen, but eventually we'll have a blacksmith that'll help us out here. Let's see. These two guys, or actually this one that's level one, let's put him into that stance. I can build a new building here at Belgique. Uh, and I wonder what brings me the most wealth with the British buildings. I don't, I'm not familiar with their farm buildings, so let me get a good look at it. Building chain... Must be this one. Is there any of these that brings, like, big-time wealth? 100 well... Ah, uh, clay pit. Someone mentioned this in the comments. Wow, you get a lot of public order penalties, though. Good grief. Why so much public order penalty for, like, the only building that brings them any real... 170 wealth from livestock is not very good. So there's that. Clay pit. And then there's also, if we go down this tree, let's see what gives us the most wealth in this tree. 300 wealth. Eh. Nothing super impressive here, either. Um, unfortunately. Well, I mean, this one does give us public order plus wealth. A little, at least. It's not bad. Uh, plus, eventually, it can lead to better, better units. Let's uh, go ahead and build it. Okay. Let's see what else we got going on here. We got these warlords. You go ahead and start training this army. No sense in not doing that. I already see another Volke Warlord here. We'll use their old Warlord to convert their new Warlord. Oh, come on, he was brand new. And then let's use this Warlord to do some military training in this army, because these guys don't have any chevrons, they're going to need some. Okay, and I'm pretty much out of money once again. No upgrades that can be given. Alright, let's end this turn. And I think we are getting very close to some sweet, sweet revenge on the Volke. I am definitely looking forward to that. But, like I said, I want to make sure they're extremely poisoned before I go after them, because their armies are rather powerful. And I ought not to underestimate them, like I did previously. Our struggle will end badly and with little... I really wish I could take a peace treaty from you all or force you into being like client states. Tell us. But I cannot. Well, not client states. Client states are worthless. Shall At least these people are scared of me. It's about the only good thing I've got going for myself right here. The Helvetii are about to try something. Well, no, they must have just had an agent. Mark Amani are going to do something with their agents here. 
crap. I don't have the money to be repairing buildings and stuff. Nor do I have the money to be converting a thousand enemy agents. Like, I have so many agents, but I can't do anything with them right now just because I don't have the money. I'm so strapped for cash. Let's see what the Volcay are up to. They're gonna... What are they doing? Interesting. Oh, really? One of my agent defects to the, the Volcay? Or no, 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 somewhere else. An agent exposed. Oh, the Helvetii. You got one of my War Maidens to join them. Yeah, I'm not going to let that happen for, for very long. Yes. Let's manipulate this person back to my side. Oh, really? Yeah, that seems convenient for you. I'm going to spend all this money on something I probably shouldn't be, but I'm bitter now. Uh, of course, their guy won't convert. A merry meeting. How can I help? Teach this girl to turn her back on me. We Britons. All right. Give her a little wounding to think about. Oh, man, look, the Volcay are going to put to sea with this army now, too, and they could possibly sail up to Namnetum. This is bad. Yes. It's real bad. So let's sabotage like these guys' provisions again. Success. They're now very weakened. Very weakened. This army is not nearly as strong as the other one. What do I have here? Got a ton of slingers, a lot of cavalry. If, 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 if. Let's see what we can do here. So the Volke. What happened to their other army? I could, or is that the one they moved down there? Let me make sure the Volke aren't hiding any other forces over here. They are not that I can see. So let's sabotage these guys where they don't have enough movement points to come reinforce. I like it. And they're probably already recruiting Oathsworn here, yes, of course. Um, this is going to be a bit risky because these guys still have a number of troops in the vicinity, but because they're so damaged, I'm thinking about attacking Bertigala right now um, with this army. Not besieging it, per se. Well, I mean, if I do besiege it, yeah, I'd have to go over ladders against all these guys, so that would be bad. But if I can force them to sally out against me, it might turn into an easy victory. And they very well might sally against me because they're going to have so many uh, men. So let's just uh, continue the siege and see what the Volcay do. So that is that is definitely going to be a bit of risky business. And I'm not liking the Helvetii giving me crap here. And it's been a while since the Arverni have been strong enough to do anything. So, in fact, let's... Um, to the mother. How can I help? Let's take this army up here to Helvetii territory, and let's just use this druid to scout for our Verni troops. Don't see anything, so we should be safe. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on the Arverni. Let's see what happened up here at Telefertum from the enemy agent. Okay. That army is fortified still. I can easily destroy them when the time comes, so no big worry. And let's see. I need to use what funds I have to continue training this army. We are quickly running out of funds again, but with enough troops, I should be able to go out and be effective and start earning even more with what I have here. But, I mean, it is going to draw me down temporarily, at least. So, yeah, it looks like we are on the cusp of possibly getting revenge on the Volcay, unfortunately. I am going to have to leave it here, as I am out of time. But uh, I will be back with this campaign, of course, as usual, with more uh, for your enjoyment. And we will see if uh, I'm able to get revenge on the, the Volcay or not. So, anyway, Air of Carthage, whoop, before I forget, I'm almost about to sign off. No, there's no one to declare war on. And I'm going to save my game. So, yep, saved. Hope y'all enjoyed it, and I will see you soon.